Good morning guys and happy Monday. So today is my first clinical week of uh, family medicine. Even though it's a six week rotation, about four of those, well four, exactly four of those weeks are spent in the clinic. Uh, the first week we did like workshops, the final week we studied for the shelf exam. And so two of my weeks is going to be spent in Buford, Georgia um, at a private practice. It's a family medicine combined with urgent care practice. So they have like extended hours, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it's going to be a pretty long day. Um, we actually have a uh, rural medicine we're assigned to rural parts of georgia like some of my classmates went to albany columbus um other parts that are like two to three hours away i was assigned to buford um that's actually just a little bit outside of atlanta so it's like a 30 minute drive from my apartment so i get to go from home instead of you know having to stay in that city they set us up with an apartment out there so yeah i'm pretty excited about my first day spending minutes since i've been in a white coat and had my um stethoscope on but yeah should be an interesting day. Hey guys. So I just um, wrapped up with morning clinic. We ended like around 12.30. Afternoon clinic doesn't start until 2 o'clock. So I just ate lunch in the break room. And then came to my car for a little bit. But uh, morning clinic was pretty good. I uh, saw a lot of different things. And I already have like a running list of things that I need to review when I get home today. Like, let's see. Kidney stones, gout and the medications, um, rotator cuff, uh, statins, mallet finger, osteoarthritis and how steroids can treat it, um, congestive heart failure and some hypertension meds. My preceptor is uh, really nice and he's a great teacher. So I really feel like I'm gonna learn a lot over these next two weeks. Um, so far I just had to write one uh, full patient note and then he's gonna review that later and then I've interviewed two patients on my own. I'm also here with a nurse practitioner student and so that's nice having somebody else here because you're not the only student that has to answer all the questions that he's asking. Um, he's not really asking that many questions though, just the important stuff, not like serious pimping or anything like that. So we finished clinic um, about six o'clock. The efficiency of that clinic is just so good. Like I've been to a lot of clinics where the workflow is just pretty slow. You get backed up, it takes like an hour and a half to finally get the patient seen through the entire visit. But this clinic, he was just seeing patients like back to back, going room to room, um, the MAs, the nurses, all involved. Everybody has a specific role and carries it out very well. Like, definitely if I ever were to have a private practice, I would take tips from whatever he's doing at his clinic. And his clinic also has um, an x-ray and EKG and um, labs on site. I'm pretty sure every clinic has labs on site, but not every family medicine practice will have an x-ray um, on site. And so throughout the day, we continue to, uh, to see different things like um, hypertension uh, management, diabetes management, um, a lot of patients came in to get their weekly dose of uh, their injection, either a knee or a shoulder injection, and that's an uh, injection of hyaluronic acid for their osteoarthritis. And he did probably one every hour, so pretty frequent with those injections. What else? Um, a lot of management, like one patient came in with his daughter. He's um, very elderly, like in his 90s, so his daughter is managing his, uh, his care. So I came in with a bottle or a bag of about 10 different medications and so I was pretty much trying to figure out, you know, can he stop some of these? What should he be taking? And so the doctor walked through some of the different things that he can stop and then um, set up a follow up in a month to try to, again, reduce those uh, the number of medication. So yeah, family medicine is just a lot of management of diseases. Um, and you see things like ortho, um, sports medicine. We saw about three different rotator cuff um, tears. Uh, we saw one um, tendon, uh, tendon tear in the finger. And I definitely need to review my anatomy for rotator cuff as much as we've seen that and the type of questions he asked. So yeah, going to be some review on that. And we also saw one patient that was dealing with insomnia, one patient that was dealing with um, vertigo, also known as dizziness, um, another patient that was being followed up for her depression. So this doctor was just handling her depression. There was no need to refer it to an outside psychiatrist. 
we saw about we saw just two pediatric um two pe pediatric patients one was a one month old and one was maybe about six or seven he came in because his mom was concerned that he may have adhd his school thinks he has adhd but it was clear when he was in he was in the room that this wasn't a child with adhd um so the doctor really spent time um talking to the mother about um you know his learning style it's easy for the school system to label you as something and then kind of put you in the slower class but sometimes you just learn differently so the doctor was talking to the mother about that so family medicine is definitely a broad scope um, as a specialty. So you can imagine having this as a six week rotation, how much I would have to study in this short amount of time, how much I would have to learn. Um, and so yeah, during downtime, there wasn't much downtime during clinic, but during downtime I would read case files. I went through about two cases today. And then these are just like um, some notes uh, that the department gave us like common acute complaints that you'll see in the practice So yeah, our primary sources for this rotation is case files, uh, like tutorial videos, and then a question bank With family medicine because it's like so broad and doesn't just cover one thing uh, The UWorld Q bank does not have a family med section So some of my classmates recommended doing um like the dermatology and the orthopedic section of internal medicine but outside of that you kind of have to find a, a, a q bank that just caters specifically to family medicine and exam guru is a q bank that does that so exam guru is a question bank that prepares you for a step two ck and not only do they have an overall q bank for step two um they also have individual q banks for the shelf exams that you take so they have a uh, psychiatry family med internal med um ob guide surgery peds and even an emergency medicine q bank so that prepares you for each individual shelf so for this rotation i'm going to be using them for family medicine since there's not like another specific q bank out there that i know of at least uh that's specific for family med so the q bank for family med has about 360 questions which is plenty of questions for this rotation um and then all the other q banks for the shelves they each have like at least 300 with internal having the most i believe it's about 400 questions on there and so with any kind of exam prep any type of board prep that you're doing question questions questions are so important so getting a good q bank is um is a necessity to have in your study resource um and i do have a discount code um and a link for you guys so using the link that i'm going to have in the description box that can get you up to 30 percent on any of the qbanks that you choose and the link will also uh save you money if you just want to do uh the overall step two uh ck qbank if you don't want to do the individual shelf exams and so this link is not going to expire anytime soon i'm going to leave it as a permanent link in my description box so on future videos you can always just check that out and get that discount code so i have my list of topics that i wrote down of things that i saw in clinic today so i'm just trying to go over those uh tonight i'm probably not gonna get to all of it but at least i'll cover some and then another day of clinic tomorrow <laughs> Good morning guys on this cold and rainy Wednesday uh, today my attending um, is gonna be uh, dealing with geriatric medicine so we're gonna be at the nursing home he does that once a month and so that's gonna be for the morning time and then afternoon time we're gonna head back to the clinic so it is now lunchtime um, I saw that Chick-fil-A didn't pack my lunch today because I wasn't sure if that site would have a microwave, would have a microwave or not um, but Morning clinic went really well. Have a one hour lunch break and then had to head to the um, next location for afternoon clinic. So I am done for the day. I uh, just got back to my apartment and it is 4.14. So we finished pretty early today. Uh, the geriatric experience was pretty different. We went to a, a, a senior uh, living home and pretty much it was about maybe 25 to 30 um, elderly people you know individuals living there and the doctor comes in once a month and just pretty much uh checks in on how their medication is going just does medical management of the patients and other issues that they're having they have a primary like provider there i'm not sure if it was like a, a nurse or nurse practitioner somebody else that's there handling their care on a daily basis and the doctor just comes in checks in and adjusts what's needed um but yeah some of the geriatric geriatric population it could be difficult you know communicating because they're either demented or you know hearing issues so it's hard to communicate a lot of them have parkinson's so 
that's it that's a challenge you know you have to communicate through whatever provider uh, is there with them so hopefully they do have a good provider that's looking out for them on a daily basis and the average age of the patients um, that we saw today was about 90. The oldest one that we saw, she was 99 years old. Um, I actually thought I was walking into um, a house when I walked up to there. But that, I mean, that's essentially what it is, like an assisted living, nursing care home, senior living home. But yeah, um, so far, three days of family medicine. The three days have been pretty good. I'm enjoying family medicine more than I thought I would have. Um, a lot more to learn, a lot more to study. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. If you guys have any questions about family medicine, just leave it in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer all of them. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.